Seizures certainly do affect memory, and there's some individual variation in this. But probably all of you know that your memory for what happens during a seizure is likely to be lost. So you won't remember what people said to you or what you actually did during a seizure. Seizures can also affect your memory for what happens just after you come out of the event. This is referred to as the postdictal period. And often you might be able to respond by um, following commands or answering questions, but later you won't be able to, to remember um, those events. There are other types of effects that seizures can have on memory as well, and they vary from person to person. For example, I had one patient tell me that after a big seizure, he completely forgot the previous day. And the way he knew that he had forgotten it was he had been involved in his brother's wedding and he had no memory for that event. That's very unusual. In addition to full-blown seizures, epileptic discharges, which can be seen on the EEG, can also have an effect on memory. If these discharges are going on, our research has indicated that the storage of memory over the longer term is affected. So people have trouble remembering things that they did a week later or two weeks later because of these discharges. The question about whether medication affects your memory is a complex one. Some of our research has indicated that if you're on more than one drug called polytherapy, that's worse for your memory than if you're on only a single medication. However, whether or not a, an addition of a medication is going to affect your memory depends on your seizure control as well. So sometimes it's better to be on more medications and keep the discharges and seizures better controlled um, than it is to stay on just one medication. If you have questions about how your medications and your seizures are affecting your memory, you should talk to your doctor about this and a neuropsychological assessment might help.